Hi, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. In this video, I'm going to talk about component scan in Spring Framework. What is the purpose of component scan? Why do we need it? So prior to Spring 3, we were using XML files to, to declare and register the bean, the Spring container. So we will be having a beans tag and bean tag, bean ID and a class that you want to register as a bean in the Spring container. So now after Spring 3, we, we don't have to do that. We can achieve the same thing using annotations. So this file is like a XML file. You can mark it as a configuration annotation and component scan. So component scan informs the Spring to automatically discover and declare beans such that beans in Spring application can now be declared and registered without bean tag. And component scan, it scan the package and all of its sub packages looking for classes that could be automatically registered as beans in the spring container okay so component scan i will mention the package here it will go to the package and it will find out what are the classes that is marked as component controller service repository if a class is marked with component service repository and controller it will registered with it will register those classes with the spring container okay so component it's a spring component controller means uh, MC controller service means it indicates uh, uh, it's a service repository means at the DAO layer data repository so here for demo purpose I have marked this book class as a component and this will be registered in the spring container to simply say to component scan is to inform the package information to the spring container so that it can scan and register all the required beans into the spring container okay hope this information is useful thank you and all the best